How do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are they really black swans? Why do people yawn? Where the stars act on? The questions and adventures never end. Jupiter, did you see that sunny owl? I've got my rain boots on. And I've got my flippers on. Come on, Jupiter. We've got so many fun things to do today. Let's go and water the garden. I'll turn the water on. Clyde will hold the watering uh -huh. can, and I'll fill it up. Then we can water the plants. But I also uh -huh. want to play with the water hose. Uh -huh. Negative, Jupiter. We can't waste water. We're going to fill up the watering can only just a little bit, and then we'll water the plants. Great. Yay! I'm going to need my snorkel mask. What should we do now? Play tag in the rain? Mmm, I love how it smells after it rains. <laughs> Look, Clyde likes the smell, too. I wonder where it comes from. Does it come from the rain or from the ground? I don't smell anything. <laughs> Needle! What makes that smell? What's happening here? I just gotta know! show up there suddenly that it just rains smell. I wonder. Maybe as the worms crawl and crawl and crawl, they make that smell. I wonder. But how are we going to find out if they really make the smell? <laughs> With a little experiment. Clyde, don't let that worm get away. The experiment is simple. Let's smell the dry dirt without a worm, the dry dirt with a worm, and this wet dirt here. And then we can find out where the smell comes from. Mm. Let's get started. Who wants to smell the piles of dirt? <coughs> Perfect. Scientist Clyde, please smell the piles of dirt and tell us where the smell comes from. Maybe the little worm took a bath. Huh? Does the smell come from the worm? Which is it, Clyde? It's coming from the wet dirt with no worm. If that just rain smell comes from the wet dirt and not the worm, then why does it only smell like that when it's wet? I've got it! I know just what we need to do to find out what's happening here. Come 
Come on, Jupiter. Come on, Clyde. Mm. Radishes or beets? Mm. Radishes. I don't like beets at all. Okay, Jupiter. Then let's make believe that we're all radishes. And let's get down in the dirt so that we can find out where this smell comes from. Are you in? Yeah. Radishes. I never imagined that I'd be a radish. Look! There's that same just rained smell down here, too. All I can smell is radishes. That's because radishes huh. smell like radishes. Who said that? I did. Ah, Mr. Radish. Do you know what causes that just rain smell? That delightfully yummy smell, that's the Earth's perfume. Earth's perfume? What's that? Perfume, Luna, like Mommy uses when she goes out with Daddy. Ah, the thread maketh so nice for burrowing holes. Oh, look, a giant worm. He's not gigantic, did you forget? We're radishes. Oh, that's right. Mr. Worm, this radish here would like to know exactly what Earth's perfume is. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, then we'd better explain the phenomenon behind that just rain smell for our little radish friends. Phenomenon? 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 That's right. Here underground, there are all sorts of creatures that are so small, you can't even see them with just your eyes. They're called microbes. They release the smell into the dirt, and then when it rains, the smell goes up into the air. Mr. Radis, can I get a C major, please? Do, 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 do. What is that earthy smell that you know oh so well? After the rain fell, ooh. It's the same thing that makes the beats taste oh so very neat. So neat, so neat, so neat. When the rain starts falling down, splashing down on the ground. rain smell. And this smell can actually be created before or after the rain, but the rain makes the smell travel into the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the Earth's perfume is also what makes your beets have an earthy taste. Mm -hmm. So that must be why I never liked eating beets. Yeah, but they taste so good, Jupiter. I just love beets. I think I like them now, too. And I still like radishes. It stopped raining. It's sunny. Let's go out and play. You guys are leaving already? Do you think that I can go with you? Of course. <gasps> Do you really think he came with us? Hmm? He did. Let's put together a show for Mommy and Daddy so we can tell them all about the Earth's perfume. Can I be the worm? We really only need to have one worm, but okay. Before we rehearse, we'd better take Mr. Radish back home. Are we going to put him back in the ground? Hmm. That's right, Jupiter. It's time to put Mr. Radish back in Daddy's garden. <laughs> Gentlemen, allow me to present the wonderful, the fantastic Earth's Perfume Show. 
Presenting Worm Jupiter and Worm Clyde. Time for our big numbers. <laughs>